Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create this family. So this is a line-based detail element. So um, it can be used to create a door swing. And I think this is quite useful, so especially uh, early stage. So if you want to cr uh, create some uh, a robe or joinery, so you can just create a door panel uh, door swing to it <laughs> okay so it's not 3d it's it's 2d it's on floor plan only and also you can flip it you can um, and also that's an op option so you can use uh, single door double door and also you can flip you can flip direction okay so and also you can I think you can also use it uh, into in a family if we want to model uh, uh, a genre family and you don't of course you don't want to have actual 3d door panel uh, uh, open and close but yeah so you can use this one to um, indicate uh, swing doors okay so let's let's do it so um, first I'm going to Oh, actually, uh, I didn't save this one. Let me just save this one in case I forgot how to do it again. <laughs> so I just save it on this top today state. Okay, so now let's start. So first, create a new family. So it's a detail element. D, uh, D, oh, go up. Here, yeah, detail element, line based. Okay, so okay, so because it's a line based, so you will see this is a reference line. Okay, so first we're going to create a reference line. Start from this point, go up 45 degree. Okay, so and another one, also 45 degree trim. Okay, so now we need to constrain it because if I dra drag this one, you will see it's not. Uh, perfect right so control Z so we need to do a dimension angular angle dimension 45 degree lock lock and of, of course if if you want to change uh, when uh, if we want to have a door swing uh, other than 45 you can you can you can also do it okay so um, so now and also we need to lock this point to these reference plans. So AL, pick this reference plan, pick this lock. Uh, okay, so looks looks like it's okay. Try this one. Okay, so it's already locked. Let's try again. Yeah, I, I think, oh, all good. Very good. So then we can create uh, door panels. Um, of course, it's detail element, so we're going to use. Uh, you can either use um, mask region or fill region. So let's just use uh, mask region for this one because uh, we're not going to add any pattern to it. So mask region. So I'm going to. So here you can choose um, different uh, line. So I'm going to use hidden line. Okay, so pick line, and I'll lock onto this reference. Uh, line and off, offset um, door thickness depending on uh, uh, what the thickness you want. I'll just use 38 and then just close it. Okay, so now I'm going to add a dimension to, to the door thickness and lock it so it won't change. And also select select this edge and then see this dimension just click on this so now we just need to create a parameter so um, I'll call it a uh, length half length okay so half length because when you don't close it's uh, the, the the length of this or the, the width of this door panel equals half of this length so go to family types here equals length divided by 2 apply 
Okay, and finish. So now it's uh, this is one of the door panel, and then we can just select it and mirror it to the other side, and then select it, edit boundary. We just need to align and lock. So this one's already locked. This one's already there. So all good. Finish. So now let's have a test. So if I change the width, um, 900 for example, all good. Okay. So I'll just change the scale so you can. Yep. Good. Okay. So then we just need to add the uh, swing line. Okay. So create line. Same. Choose a line. Um, and a style. Um, if if you want to change, uh, use different ones. So you can create you can create a different uh, object style. Okay, so object style. So for example, I'll just create a half tone hidden line. Okay, and then just change the color and uh, change the pattern. So I just use dash. And then go create a. Oh, sorry, I'm already there. So and then use and pick that uh, half hidden. Okay, so center from here, here, and here. So we need to con uh, lock. So this one, this one, and also we need this radius. Okay, which uh, which is half. Of the length we already have this one and also uh, another thing is we need to select this one and check this box center mark visible and I'm going to control select these two reference plan H I so now we need to lock lock this center center mark of this arc onto these two reference plan so a L a L lock okay all down H R so we can select this one, DM mirror to the other side. And the same, select this, and we just need to try to, and also these two reference uh, reference plan, HI, AL, and the lock, and the lock. Okay, so HR, select it, create a radius, select this radius, and link it onto L, H half uh, length. And what else? Uh, I think we need to lock onto here. And I think here should be all good. Okay, so you can click on this one, but I think it should be fine. So this is um, the double door. And also we can add a, a single door to it. So I'm going to so select this one, Control C, and paste in the same place, edit boundary. Select this uh, length, change it to the length, so it becomes single door. Okay, so everything else is all good, and I think um, maybe we need, let's just lock uh, a line, this reference line. Oh, hang on. AL, trying to pick the reference line and pick this and lock. Okay, and um, and also this. So I'm going to just copy this one, Control C, paste in the same place, and create a radius. Select this radius and change it to, and drag this back to on here, and then lock, drag it back to here. Um, it looks looks like it's all okay, all good. And select this one. Checked. Uh, it's already checked. Control select these two reference plan, H I A L and a lock. Okay, so now H R and this is a single door. So then we just need to select these two, create a visibility um, parameter. So let's call it S for single instance and OK and OK. Then select uh, select this one. So tab this one. So double door, one, two, three, four, create another. So this time call it D for double, okay, and okay. Go to family types, single equals not double. Okay, so you can 
you can only have one. Okay. Um, what else? So and also we can add this control, and you can flip. So you can place one, another one. So you can you can uh, when uh, when uh, using single door, you can flip uh, left to right, and then also you can flip on uh, to the other side. Okay. So now let's have a tr uh, test. So I'm going to actually I'm going to create a family. Okay. So very very simple. Uh, maybe just generic model. Okay, so something like a casework or uh, uh, a furniture. So okay, so maybe I'll just. So these are some reference plan, and for a furniture, you will always have a depth, right? So I'll just call it D, and and the width width okay so then I'll just type in maybe 600 maybe 1500 okay so and then I'll just add, create an extrusion to it okay and the finish go to front view RP create another reference plan so this is for the height, so let's create a height parameter or maybe type parameter and just lock this onto that. It's all good. So this is a piece of uh, um, furniture. Okay, so and then um, we we can we can just go back to that detail here. So this one load this into here. So go to floor plan and then we can just create that um, component oh sorry not here it's a detail component so it's under annotate detail component so now we can just create from this point to this point and then um, maybe we need to uh, lock lock onto this <laughs> okay so now let's have a try so for example if I, uh, I want to change the, the uh, depths yeah let's follow uh, yep, all good. So and then change the uh, width. Ah, we need to lock this side. So A L lock. I think now it's all good. We yeah, can try this. Yeah. So well, now let's um, create a project and uh, have a test. Okay, so load this one into the project, and we have a little furniture. <laughs> okay, so with a, um, a double swing door. Right? In three D, it's just a box, but on the floor plan, uh, you, uh, you can show these doors. So this is quite good for uh, early stage uh, schematic design. To so it's very very simple model, but can show that, that um, intent intention <laughs> okay so um, and also uh, because we have options right so single double um, we can probably link associate these parameters so we can control it uh, in the project so maybe I'll call this is double I'll just call double door okay so I'll just call uh, D in the instance so uh, D is already defined. Um, hang on. So D is already defined. Oh, D is for de depths. Sorry, double door. How about DD? So select the door. Click on this. Let's call it DD instance and OK and OK. And um, load this to into a project. And override. So now we have an option to uncheck this one, become single door. Check this one, double door. Okay. And okay, I think this one's uh, this is it. And also um, this detail I, um, item family 
can also be used in project. So you don't really don't need to have anything. You can just directly draw a top a door swing. So for example, uh, sometimes um, we probably we can just model in some um, casework. Um, okay, so let's just do it quickly. So for example, this is a kitchen um, bench. Okay, so something like uh, like this. Oh, you know, something's not right. <laughs> Let's do it again. 600. Oh, because my chain is not checked. Okay, so L shape kitchen bench, and then so uh, maybe a 900 uh, high, and then so you can use. You can you can use this family. So for example, I just want to add, have a double door. You can use space bar to flip it. If, uh, I want to have double door here, double door here, and maybe a single door here. So you can check the box, become a single door. Uh, you can change direction if you wanted to. Oops. <laughs> and I think this is quite uh, good, um, quite useful. Right, early stage, so it's very uh, simple. So there's nothing, nothing in the model, but on the floor plan, you uh, tell a story. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Um, do you um, do you want this family? I think um, I'll upload this family for you, so you can have a look, have a play. If you have any question, please let me know. I will see you next time. Thank you.